what is going on people welcome back to another video on aj5 and in today's video guys it's all about velo which has taken quite of a drop guys as you can see it's 22 percent down in the last 24 hours so we're going to be looking at is it worth buying the dip right now should you wait for it to drop further should you sell it or is the time to hold on to it wait for it to pump back up in value so essentially what we're going to be going through is both buyers and sellers point of view and mainly looking at its prediction over the next couple of hours days weeks months and overall in 2023 how high can velo go as you can see there was a lot of hype around this crypto for the last approximately two weeks where it pumped up from about 0.002 cents all the way up to 0.015 cents that is a major increase in value however right now it has gone through two red days consistently so how is it looking like for velo and is their crypto still worth investing into in 2023 but before i get into all of that stuff guys if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as i'm trying to hit a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys can help me hit that target i will be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel and for a bonus entry follow me on instagram link to that will be in the description box down below so as you can see we are currently on the coinbase website and the market is down just about a percentage in the last 24 hours with velo being one of the top losers in the last 24 hours guys it is down 21 percent in the last hour itself it managed to drop over three percent let me just change this to usd as you can see here over the last day 22 percent with major drops earlier this afternoon and it's still ongoing right now over the week six percent up we can see it did here about 67 percent up here 57 percent up here it was over one cent throughout the most of the week all up until now where it literally dropped below the one cent target and over the month it is a massive 232 percent up guys and we did hit about 400 percent earlier about a week ago as you can see here where they were hit was 0.0149 cents it was nearly 430 percent up which is absolutely crazy but yes it has taken a dip so going into the coin market cap website here we can see the trading volume has dropped quite heavily as well 31 percent down making it 23 million dollars again main reason it's dropped is because of the drop that's taking place in velo most people are just holding on to it right now they're not buying more they're not selling it again whenever a crypto pumps a lot of people tend to buy into it invest into it and so on but whenever it drops in value they're scared to buy the dip just in case it drops further and you know i understand that but i'll go through some techniques that i use when it comes to investing later on in the video so let's get straight into it on the screen right now we do have the candlestick pattern chart with the macd indicator which i'm going to be using to do some price prediction as i'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for so at the top we've got the usual sma indicator which is the purple line running across the chart giving us the average value of velo which is at 0.007 cents however we can see it trading at a slightly higher value here in red at 0.009 cents meaning it's performing quite well and better than expected so let's zoom in into the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then i'll move on to the hourly daily and weekly chart for the long term investors like myself but before i do that guys as usual just a little disclaimer this is no financial advice i'm not a financial advisor anything i say is from my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses that you guys make i will not be responsible for so zooming into the 30 minute chart we do have the blue and the orange line looking quite bearish heading towards the negative direction meaning more drops in value are expected from velo over the coming 12 to 14 hours so let's say by midday tomorrow i'm expecting it to drop back down to about 0.008 cents or even slightly lower than that again it's not going to be a major drop or a major decrease in value or anything like that again do expect peaks in between as well green candles but the overall outcome seems to be more on the negative side, meaning more drops in value are expected. Now, moving on to the hourly chart next couple of days, so over the next six to seven days, so let's say towards the end of the week and early next week, guys, we still got the blue and the orange line looking slightly bearish, heading towards the negative direction. However, that's not what I'm expecting, guys. I am again expecting an overall increase in value from Velo over the coming seven to eight days. So towards the end of this week, early next week, it should be back above the one cent target, trading around 0.012 to 0.013 cents is what my predictions are. However, you guys know how volatile the crypto market can be. And again, red days are likely to carry on over the next couple of days before it slowly starts to gain value going above the one cent target hitting about 0.012 to 0.013 cents and again guys 
is going to be quite volatile up and down but the overall outcome i'm expecting it to be more on the positive side and now for those of you asking is it a good time to buy the dip you know scared to buy it right now in case it drops further a technique i use is called dca dollar cost averaging not sure if you guys have heard of it you probably have but for those of you who haven't it's basically i'm just going to shorten it quickly for example if you've got let's say a hundred dollars that you guys want to invest into velo what i would personally do is invest ten dollars for in the next 10 days so the value of it gets averaged out if it drops further then good you know it averages out if it pumps up then it is what it is or you can do $20 for five days $5 for 20 days however you guys want to do it it's up to you but yeah that basically averages out the value of velo in case it does drop or in case it pumps or whatever it is instead of putting a hundred dollars straight into it right now and on it you know in case it goes the wrong way but yeah that's something that i use and i have been doing since i've been doing crypto and just stocks or whatever but yeah let me know if any of you guys use dca when it comes to investing comment down below as i'm very intrigued to see how many of you guys know about it and if you actually use that technique as well so moving on to the daily chart next couple of weeks what can we see here well this is quite interesting we've got the blue line looking bearish heading towards the negative direction and we do have the orange line looking slightly bullish heading towards a positive direction so we have both the lines going the opposite direction to each other so what this usually means is an overall fluctuation in value is what is expected over the coming six to eight weeks so for the crypto to be trading around the one cent target by the end of april however that's not what i'm expecting i am expecting an overall increase in value from below over the next six to eight weeks so mid to late april sorry mid to late april 2023 i am expecting velo to be trading around the three cents target is where i'm expecting it to be trading at yes to some of you guys it may seem like a major increase from where it is at the moment but again if we manage to give it approximately a two months time i'm pretty sure it should be able to hit the three cents target and again that is considering the dips that are likely to take place in between as well but it's not considering the major crashes or major bull runs or price pumps that may happen. Of course, these things are not expected. And again, if they are, if I am able to expect or predict them, I will, of course, keep you guys updated on my Instagram page and on my YouTube channel as well. So make sure you stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time I upload. But yeah, so far, so good for Velo for the long term. But for the short term, as I mentioned, I'm expecting it to drop further. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. I'm not going to keep you guys for any longer before i end the video i just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing liking commenting and just supporting the channel in any way or form and especially all the subscribers out there thank you guys so much as it helps me out a lot and means a lot to me as i am trying to hit 100k by the end of the year and at the end of the day guys it is free to subscribe so why don't you go down and smash the subscribe button and like the video and i'll catch all of you guys in my next crypto update which should hopefully be later on today until then take care and peace